is a bracket fungus. And what I think is quite interesting about the underside of it is all those holes. And that's where the spores come from. That's where the seeds that this thing grew from emerge and they get scattered to the wind. And these ones seem to have been already scattered to the wind. Isn't that quite nice? It looks quite delicious. I'd be uh, tempted to eat that if I didn't think I might die immediately. Then, of course, we have another kind of fungus that is mixed in with an algae. And um, I'll show it to you now. There we are. It's a lichen. Now, we've looked at lichens a few times before under the microscope, but I'm going to do it again because there are two or three kinds on this one small branch that I found on the ground. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Every time you look slightly closer down or get zoom in to nature, you find an astonishing array of extra beauty and color and different shapes and sizes of things. Okay, so that's one species. And then there's another one there. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There, there we go. There it is. So that yellow thing there is another species of lichen. Now, as I've said to you before, lichens are a symbiotic relationship between fungus and algae. And they've almost formed one organism, but not quite. They're still not quite yet an organism on their own. And they form an entirely different kingdom of organism from animals and plants and fungi and algae and protozoans and bacteria, etc. Right. Now, the next thing I want to do, because Brian lent me his scalpel, very nice, is chop up this moth. This moth is